I'm Stephanie Redder. I um, I don't know what you want to know about me. I'm 56 years old. I'm 13 years uh, since diagnosis of breast cancer. Um, mom of three, married, and grand- Mimi, two, three, and uh, dog mom to one, Jake. um physical therapist assistant um for almost 30 years now but i guess that's kind of me in a nutshell and i'm carrie claiborne i going to be 40 this year but i'm going to celebrate it because that's awesome so um i am a physical therapist I am married. I have two little boys, a five-year-old and almost three-year-old, but I'm going to keep them two as long as possible. Um, And I also have a dog named Maverick who is going to be 13 and is the sweetest, kindest little thing ever. So we're not going to talk about how old he's getting either. Um, Let's see. So Stephanie and I met, I don't even know how you got my email. Well, Unless it I was, think I did some. Was it through my caring badge? Yeah, it was through your caring. This is obviously before social media. Media is like, really what really it was, big. which makes us really sound old. I am. That being said, um, so I was diagnosed March fourteenth of two thousand and eight. You were diagnosed the twenty second of February, February two thousand eight. And I lived in Kansas at the time. I'm born and raised here. Um, but was working out there as a physical therapist. And I, like I said, social media wasn't really happening, but when I was diagnosed, someone had recommended starting a caring bridge page. Um, that way I could keep people updated. They could go to it. They could kind of see what was going on. Um, so that allowed me to kind of reach out to a a lot of different people if they wanted to, um, somehow. So I, like she said, we were diagnosed, you know, weeks apart, but didn't know each other. Um, as I was starting my process of um, treatment, you know, surgery, treatment, all that stuff, uh, we too were going to start a caring bridge. And we had mutual friends. I, I'm i not sure if one, I know one was my sister, yeah. Ashley, but somehow someone said, you know, like go to care. You know, this is someone you might know. You go to care, like Carrie does a caring bridge, and I, so I started reading her caring bridge, and uh, I was just drawn to her, to her words, and uh, well, it was pretty real and raw, yeah, which is great. I mean, that's, I mean, that's, I don't know. Anyway, that, and I think I did a little scooping like snooping somehow <laughs> and got her email and it may and, have been on Karen Bridge too. Yeah. I don't and even I, that's what I'm now. trying to remember and mm. how, but I remember looking for a way that I could contact you, like, um, like figuring it out, but I don't, I, I don't think it was very hard because I'm not very good at the whole <laughs> technology thing. So emailed her and we just start corresponding by email Mm -hmm. pretty regularly Mm -hmm. I feel like we were very like our you know our treatments were you were a little bit ahead of me even though you're diagnosed after me because I had had a had a little bit of a setback to start chemo after my surgery so but we were just talking about like how we were doing and how we are our outlooks were very similar. Yes. I would say our, um, our approach to things was very similar, even though we were at very different places in our lives, because I mean, your daughter, Erin is my age Yes, and I was going through a breakup. Uh, well, not even at that point. You were just 26. Yeah. I I was was 42 when I was diagnosed. Yeah. So I had a boyfriend that, that, relationship resolved in the middle of all that so no kids so there was all of that kind of unknown so even though that was different it was just a really nice resource and the emails worked really well for us because you could answer them or not answer them when you felt up to it mentally Mm -hmm. versus like a phone conversation or something maybe you just weren't feeling that that day Mm -hmm. like it was just a nice way to communicate um 
that wasn't overbearing. So, um, so we started emailing and then I moved back home about eight months after finishing my, from my diagnosis, I finished my treatments. I moved home. So 2009. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Temporarily just to kind of get reset on my feet. <laughs> um, and, um, ran into my now husband who was coming in for therapy with someone else. And we had lots of mutual friends. And in fact, he had been part of different fundraisers for me during that time. He was really good friends with her sister, but I didn't know that was her sister. It was like a weird thing. Like, our our story our and yeah. our paths and how I just feel like how, they've done this. Yes. They've just weaved this really um full path. It is. And I feel like it's still there's so much more ahead. I know, which um, is cool too. And then she got to be there because I didn't know if I could have kids. Yeah, I was just gonna and say so that. I was like my sweet little baby. When she like found out she was pregnant, like that just I still like I still <laughs> I was that I was just like I would look at her and she was pregnant like your little miracle and your little miracle babies and then to have a second and they're just so beautiful and I remember the first time we met Parks we met at the little restaurant on the we west did. side and she was on maternity leave and I remember holy I know I have a picture I was I know trying to find too. that today <laughs> and I was I know I have a picture of that and I was trying to find that this morning um because I remember that and just uh you know, how those things are imprinted on me, like just watching your journey. I mean, I had an older daughter when I was diagnosed, but I also had an eight and 11 year old too. So just, and what joy and pain in my butt, you know, your kids are, that's just how it is. But I, of course, for Carrie to have that, you know, I, it's just still, I don't, I, I mean, I don't know. I just always get emotional. And I think about her little boys and remembering when she found out she was pregnant. I just, both times. I know. I just was like, I just am so grateful. Um, so grateful for the gift of a friendship.